Hello, friends, this is your boy JT, and welcome back to another episode of South Stand Signings the Series. Of course, we go through everything happening in and around the world of League United. And we have a little talk about it. And boy, I am buzzing to be back because Leeds are finally making some progress, baby. And we're going to be making some big, big signings in the coming days. And relegation is not happening. I can feel it. I can smell it. I can taste. Survivor. So, without any more, without wasting any more of your time, let's get straight into the meat of the action. Bang! And the first story is, of course, surrounding the main man that everybody has been talking about, sniffing about, licking about. I don't know why they were licking about for him, but it is, of course, Jorginho Rotter, who is on his way over to Leeds. I can guarantee it. Money back guarantee. Anyone that sat there telling me, oh, I don't know, they might pull a fast one last second. This one is as good as... As done. Here we go. In the words of the main man Fabrizio Romano. And he actually has come out recently. Writing on court offside. That Leeds and Rutters clubs are basically just sorting out. Those final little minute details. Personal terms have already been agreed. This happened days ago. They are just sorting out the nooks and the crannies. And the little figurinos. And the reason why it also might take a little bit longer. Or why it is taking a little bit longer for him to come over here. And have his medical as we were expecting is that the fee might actually be a little bit less than what we originally thought obviously the original figures were looking around 35 million pounds but what i think that will be is 35 million pounds including add-ons maybe coming in like three to two three to four years maybe two to three years depending on when where leads finish for example add-ons depending on if we stave away relegation add-ons if we get to europe within a couple of years and apparently it is scheduled to be around 26 million pounds base fee for the player which when you put it in that sense isn't quite as bad, isn't quite as steep, and actually this wouldn't make him our record signing. So I think it probably will be maybe a couple million pounds more than that, but I don't think it will be the 35 million pounds that we were scheduled to pay before, and his medical, as we said before, is scheduled to take place within the next 48 hours. Now, 24 hours, and it is just a matter of time before we get the deal done. How are you guys feeling about that one? Are you happy? Are you sad? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Now, one man who might be happy or sad, depending on the way he's feeling, probably happy, um, looking at the way Newcastle have been playing, is Mr. Jack Harrison. That is right, Bielsa's boys are being picked apart left, right and centre. One of the few remaining assets of that promotion charge a few years ago is Jack Harrison. And it looks like the signing of Jorginho Rata is going to help him move over to Newcastle. He was very highly touted to do so in the summer. We managed to keep hold of him. But boy, oh boy, things have not gone well for Jack Harrison or Leeds since then. He started off the season like a house on fire, but he fell off. And he is looking peak right now. It is looking like he is going to be going. And it does look like the valuation that we are going to be looking at is probably a lot lot less than what we were looking at in the uh, in the summer um and he, while we were looking before at around 60 million pounds for him we'd be lucky now to be get about 35 million pounds for him what do you guys think do you guys want to let jack harrison go do you still think he has a role to play at leeds or do you think we should just cash in as soon as possible if we can get 35 million 40 million pounds out of him bring rutter in for the same price well then it does seem like good business considering jack harrison isn't featuring at all for leeds now what wouldn't be good business is letting go of this man senior daddy tier subscription furpo and apparently he is very close to making an exit away from Ellen Road. hopefully this does not happen because as we saw against cardiff he is a phenomenal asset to the squad to the club and we cannot afford to lose him now one man who we definitely will not be losing is wilfred nonto and the reason why i bring this up for you is his valuation since joining leeds has absolutely skyrocketed and we have made a big fat chunk of money on this man it is seen a 374% increase on our investment. We, of course, paid uh, just over £3.8 million pounds for him, and he is now valued at around £80 
£15 million after just a couple of months of game time for Leeds United. Could you imagine how much he's going to be worth after he scores another 5 to 10 goals before the end of the season? I know crazy amounts. And speaking of ludicrous money flying around El Amode, uh, Andrea Radrizzani has basically hinted that he is going to be making a sale very, very soon for Leeds United. We spoke about this yesterday. Is it going to be the 49ers? Is it going to be these mysterious Middle Eastern backers? The way he's speaking, he's not confirming the 49ers are going to be the ones. He speaks in a lot of vagities. He speaks in uh, loose terms, basically saying the investor, the investment, this kind of things. And if you read between the lines here, it does seem like maybe his head has been turned a little bit. Could be exciting news. More on that is coming up in the coming weeks, days and months. Probably days, weeks and months would have made more sense. But nonetheless, I digress. And we move over to the biggest story of the day. And that is, of course, Azedin Unahi, who is very close to signing to Leeds for Leeds, potentially, or rather very close to making his way out of Angers. Uh, and there are a few potential suitors, it might not necessarily be Leeds, but who it definitely won't be is Paris Saint-Germain, who have completely pulled out of the race to sign him, so it does not look like he is going to be staying in France at all. He is going to be making a move away. The two leagues in Tautation, or rather the two leagues uh, that he is most likely going to go to are either the Serie A or the Premier League. Obviously, Napoli interested and have bet 13 million pounds. However, they have not bet anywhere near enough. And it is saying that there are only three clubs that are currently ready to offer more money than that and get to the 22 million pound valuation that Angers are asking for. And that is Rassemble Sport Leipzig, Leicester City and and Leeds United and I feel like it is going to come down to a race between Leicester and Leeds and a race which Leeds will handedly win we will handedly be able to beat Leicester I think we'll be able to offer more money than Leicester I think we'll be able to offer a more attractive proposition than Leicester and let's be real would you rather play for a Leicester side at the end of their journey really on the decline and probably within seasons to going back down into the championship or a Leeds United side that are ready to win it all in a few years and build the biggest title charge you have ever seen. Obviously, it is going to be Leeds United. It is money back, guaranteed. Give it a couple of weeks, and this guy, I'm telling you, is going to be on his way over to Ellen Road as well. Now, someone who uh, apparently could also be joining him is Huang He Chan. Dean Jones coming out with the absolute rubbish report of the day, coming out saying that Huang He Chan is going to be making his way over to Ellen Road, or could be making his way over to Ellen Road. Uh, not going to happen, Chief. Not going to happen, Chang, should I say. Um, or Huang Chan. Um no, this rubbish story is just following us around like flies around a steamy burger and we cannot get rid of it at all and it is not going to happen ever. Uh, and one other story that unfortunately might happen would be the departure of Cody Drama. I do not see this one happening personally and I really hope it doesn't happen because against Cardiff I thought he was one of our most impressive players on the pitch I thought him and Furpo were phenomenal and I would start Cody Drama next week I don't know why he hasn't got any more game time this year I thought he was imperative in turning the tide against Cardiff and he has to feature more we have to keep him he is our biggest asset that we cannot afford to lose this this uh, this window if we lose him it has been a terrible disastrous horrific window we have to keep Cody Drama and for me, I feel like he could be a massive component in Leeds staving away relegation and pushing up the table. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section down below. Anahi, are you happy? Do you think it will happen? Rutter, are you happy with that one? Are you sad? I saw a lot of mixed responses coming out of that one yesterday. Cody Drama, do we keep or do we sell? And of course, Jack Harrison, how mad would you be if he departed over to Newcastle? But for now, guys, I will see you very soon. Au revoir. My brothers and my sisters.